Hi, my name is Jamie, a young human being from Hong Kong. In 2019, I packed up my bags, flew across the Pacific Ocean, and studied for a semester in the United States. I remember I was so ready to leave everything behind and start over, probably because I was burned out by all the schoolwork at the time. I felt as if I were given a second chance in life. When I traveled thousands of miles to be away from home, when I was finding my way to a new place, when I found myself surrounded by new people and a different culture. I also experienced a lot of firsts. For the first time, I had my own big enough space. For the first time, I was the one who decides what to eat and cook. I remember I always made pasta to a point where my roommates made fun of me for only making one kind of food. For the first time, I was able to stick to my workout schedule and exercise regularly. After settling down for a bit and getting used to the campus life here in Stony Brook, I was ready to go on an adventure and explore New York and the rest of the country. So I started off with the port town near the campus, and then I began going out to New York City on the weekends. I also planned the longest trip I have ever had, a 10-day trip across the West Coast. This is my first time planning everything by myself, like booking hotels and flights and stuff like that. As you can tell from my smile in the photos, the trip turned out really great and everything went smooth. Till this day, I'm still really proud of it. Many of my happiest memories in these four months in the U.S. are with friends that I met there. We went to a campus carnival, watched a Broadway show, and we also visited Boston. We also had Chinese takeouts together. I remember translating the menu for them. It just felt so amazing that even though we don't speak the same language and can only communicate in limited English, I never felt that language is a barrier between us. I also met an American girl on Reddit. I was working on my video story on thrifting, and I had to find someone who thrifts a lot so that I could interview them. And that's when I found Kim. I was so nervous meeting her the first time, but turns out she was really nice. She even drove me to the thrift store. So yeah, thanks to her, I was able to publish the story, and I had a lot of fun doing it. Uh, it's very concerning. One of the pros of spending a fall semester in the U.S. is that you get to experience Thanksgiving. No, I don't have anyone or relatives in the states, but I went to a Thanksgiving dinner hosted by the university. <laughs> I had some traditional Thanksgiving food and a slice of pumpkin pie, very delicious. Even though I didn't stay long enough to call Stony Brook my home, I actually felt welcomed and warm in my heart. Being away from your family and friends also means that you'll be spending more time alone. Honestly, I found it quite enjoyable because I had more time to reflect. To recharge after socializing, and also to learn a bit more about myself. Before coming to America, I thought I would be having a big friend group here, or going to all these frat parties and gatherings. But you know what? I've come to peace with the fact that I like interacting with one or a few people at a time. 
And finally, I decided to spend my last week in America with a solo trip to Miami. Money with you.